Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1 to part 5. Now we'll see signs of positive of cos sin and tan. So here also we have a mantra add sugar to coffee. So this is add sugar to coffee. So add A, A become all, sugar become sine, tan become, T become tan and this become cos. So if theta is between 0 and 90, any kind of theta is positive, all for positive only I am saying, this is for positive, for positive, for positive. That means, so I am talking about sine theta is equal to 0 to 90 degree, any value, this will give you positive. Similarly, talking about cos of theta from 0 to positive 90 degree, this guy will also give you positive and tan of theta 0 to 90 degree will also give you positive. So this is in this quadrant. So any value sin cos tan also cosec, sec and cot. Why I am not discussing this is it will make things complex for you. Because if the sign is positive, 1 by sign will always be positive. If cos is positive, 1 by cos that is sec is also positive. If tan is positive, 1 by tan, it's cot is also positive. So we ignore this part. So whatever behavior we get for sin cos tan, similar similar behavior we get for cos x sec and cot. Now for 90 to 180, only signs are positive. So that means if I say sine of any number 90 to 180. This guy is positive, but when I'm talking about cos of any number that is 90, 192, 90 to 180, this becomes negative, and tan of also any number in this range is also negative. So only sine is positive. Here all are positive. Here only sine is positive. In third quadrant, only tan is positive. So if I say any number like this, if I say any number uh, from 180 to 70, so this has become negative. Cos also in this case is negative, but tan in this case is positive. Similarly, when we talk about the last range, that's 270 to 360, so we see that when we are talking about sine, of any number 270 to 360 that always gives you negative cos of any number 270 to 360 will give you positive and tan of any number from in this range will give you a negative value. If you see here sine by cos is equal to tan so if you see positive by negative gives you positive because positive by negative to divide gives you negative Negative by negative will give you positive. Negative by negative, it cancels, so it gives you positive. And negative by positive will give you negative. So here, if you see all sine tan cos, any now any sine of sine values from zero to ninety is positive. If it is ninety to one eighty, only sine is positive, cos and tan is negative. If it is one eighty to two seventy, so in that case we have tan positive, other sine and cos is negative. If we have in the range of 270 to 360, we have only cos positive. Please remember, add sugar to coffee. It's a common thing, people add sugar to coffee. That's your to remember, add sugar to coffee. So you can remember this add sugar to coffee, you can get this. So for example, we have to tell that, uh, tell me if sine 78 is positive or neg negative. Just by looking at the value 78 comes in this quadrant, and here we know that all the values are positive, so this is positive. Similarly, let's suppose I'm asked whether uh, sine of 280 is positive or not. So we can see 280 comes in this quadrant, and in this quadrant only cos is positive, so we can say that this is negative. Similarly, let's say that tan. So for example, if tan of somebody has asked me 95 degree is positive or not. So we know that 95 comes in this quadrant, and in this quadrant, only sign is positive, so I can very well say that this is negative. For cos also, 
let me somebody says that find cos of 290. So 290 comes in the fourth quadrant, 270 to 60 in this range. And in this range, cos is positive. So I can say that this is positive. So you have got what I'm trying to say. We have used this mantra, add sugar to coffee. And then we can say whether the values are positive or negative. I'm not talking about the actual value number. I'm just talking about whether the value is positive or negative. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.